Hi, this is Maria from Kinder Crave, and I recently held a very popular giveaway on my blog where I created a custom stamp in Vistaprint that said first grade quality. And the reason I made this stamp was to keep my kinder kindergartners motivated at the end of the year to keep their work very top notch and to kind of harness all of their enthusiasm about going to first grade and use it to fight off some of the spring fever that naturally happens during this time of the classroom. I had a huge response to this giveaway and several people have contacted me wanting to know how I went about creating this stamp in Vistaprint. Uh, now that the giveaway is finished, the questions are still rolling and I thought this would be a good moment to share with you just exactly how I went about creating this stamp because I know if you're new to Vistaprint, it can be sort of an intimidating website to work with. So you'll want to go to vistaprint.com and I'll walk you through the steps right now to make one of your own. Um, go to all products and you want to scroll all the way down to stamps in ink and mine was a self inking stamp it's the first product listed on that subcategory I scrolled all the way down to make the biggest one obviously you could do any size you wanted but I wanted my stamp to really make a huge statement so I like this one here this three by one and a half inch it's about the same size as like a business card and it's perfect um, so get started. It takes a second. I have a very slow internet connection today. As you can see, I'm running low on batteries too. <laughs> okay. Um, you have three boxes for text and you need to, I used all three boxes. So within the first box, I typed in first. You could do this for any grade level. You could make a second grade quality or a third grade quality stamp. In the second text box type grade. The last box quality. And then you can change your color too. Um, mine happened to have been a purple stamp. I really, really like having a purple stamp, so I'm going to go ahead and make this purple too. Okay, you can see my words here, but it doesn't look very cute or pretty. And I want to go ahead and finish that, so I want the advanced settings button. It lets you change the font and the size, and it actually lets you move those boxes around, too. These are basically text boxes. When I mouse over them, you can see the box appearing. So um, this first one, the one that says first grade quality, I made that huge on the top. Um, it won't let me expand the box yet, but it will. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then where it says text, you can choose your font. Mine were both from the Fun Collection. I used this Golden State font for first, and then I made it gigantic. Um, I pretty much made it as large as this space would allow. Let's try size 82 and see what... Oh, that's a little too big because it takes up the whole thing. As you can see, it, it's a little bit of guess and check to see how it works out. First is looking better now, and if you slide it up, it makes even more room. And, you know, as I'm looking, I can probably fit something even bigger onto here. This is exactly how I did mine. I just tried something out, saw if it worked. If it left me room for something else, I went with it. Okay, so there's the word first. I'm going to move it so that I can have the word grade. I'm going to make this smaller because there's no way I'm going to need it to take up that much space. And I'm clicking on the word quality and making that text box smaller, too. If you do anything in PowerPoint or Publisher, or even uh, Microsoft Word. This is a very similar process. You're basically working with text boxes. I made grade the same fun font um, recently used, Golden State. And obviously this one is not going to be size 80, so I'm going to make it, oh, let's see what 32 looks like. It takes a second to kind of change itself and fit. 32 is not very big. Oh, there it is. 32 might work great. Um, it's not fitting, so I'm going to just expand the text box to make some more room. There it is. And I'm going to slide it over a little bit so it really fits. And now quality was a different font. Um, it was also in this fun collection. It was fanfare. It takes a second to adjust. And, oh, you know, I put an exclamation mark at the end because I was so excited about the quality. Okay. And then I'm going to do, let's see what 28 looks like. If your internet connection is faster, it will reflect the changes sooner. Okay. 
Goodness, that almost, there it is. <laughs> Very slow internet today, I apologize. The exclamation mark got cut off, so I'm just going to make the text box a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. Really? Let's see. There it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the word grade a little bit bigger, too. Just so they look like they belong side by side. Let's try to size. It's currently, let's try size 36. There. First grade quality. Just like that, um, I have a custom stamp created. I might move these around a little bit. It just has to be within this rectangular border they give you. Um, once you finish designing your stamp, you just click through the process. Um, you need to approve of it. So it, I read the statement above and I approve it. That way they're not responsible for any typos or mistakes that you make. It's going to continue loading. I apologize for the very slow delay. Um, while it does load, let me take you back to the page so I can show you more about this stamp. Um, I use it on my students' work. Anytime they give me really top-notch quality work, I stamp it. And, and as you can see, it makes a nice, very big, bold statement. It looks a little bluish here, but my stamp actually is a nice purple color. Okay, from here, if I went back to Vistaprint, you can select how many you want to order. The more you order, the cheaper it is per stamp. Um, I do not want to save anything extra, and it's going to try and sell you all sorts of things as you continue through the site. Just keep saying no. Um, I'm pretty sure this is how Vistaprint makes a ton of money. It's just by showing you more and more products and ask you if you want to purchase them. Just keep saying no, 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 no. Go ahead and click through the site. Um, eventually, it'll ask you for your credit card information and your billing information and your shipping information. And once you walk through the entire order, here they're asking if I want additional stamp pads. No, I don't. So I just leave that box blank if you don't want any more. Click, keep going through the process. Um, once you're all set um, and you finally do get to the end point, they will um, get ready to ship it to you. I always choose the very cheapest shipping option and they say it takes about two weeks. It has never taken that long for me. Um, it takes probably about four to five business days in my few times I've ordered stamps of this type. So um, I definitely recommend the cheapest, fastest, or the cheapest, slowest shipping option. It comes along equally fast. I've, I've been very pleased with it so far. So I hope if you were not one of my very lucky giveaway winners, this information has been helpful to you if you were dying to get a hands on one of these great custom stamps for yourself. Uh, this was Maria from Kinder Craze. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.